I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be. If you don't have your pattern drafted, um, click out of this video. Go watch how to draft out the pattern, then come back to this because this is the sewing version. Now, I'll be cutting out the back piece first, and I have my fabric folded into two. So I'll just go ahead and place my pattern, and then I'll cut out the back piece. If you don't have pins to pin down your pattern to your fabric, you can use any heavy object you have around you. Just be creative and be resourceful. You're going to find something. So I just placed my book on my pattern to hold it down to the fabric so I can cut. You can decide to leave more allowance round while you're cutting for joining. Or you can just, because we already did that already on the pattern. Now also remember to notch your dart. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just notched the dart point. And now I also indicate my starting point of the dart. And that is it for the back piece. We're going to cut out the lining for the back piece. So yeah. Also indicate the wrong side of your fabric. Um, if you have a fabric like this, because the one I'm using now, there's no difference between the wrong and the right side. So make sure you indicate that. So I'm using a different fabric for the lining and this fabric that I'm using here is the light crepe. Um, I just folded the fabric into two and I placed my back piece on it so I can just, you know, just trace this out. I don't need to use the pattern anymore. I'm just going to trace out the back piece on the lining. Now, from the length of the lining, I'll be reducing that by half an inch because there's a certain way I want my jacket to look. And you guys are going to be seeing that at the end of this video. So I'm just reducing the length by half an inch and that is it for the back piece and the back lining. So if you're doing this uh, process with me, you should have your lining and you should have your main piece. So you guys, I went ahead to cut out the front piece and the lining of camera and I notched my dart point on both the lining and the main piece. And for the front piece, I'm actually using the same fabric for the lining. So make sure whatever you're doing, you indicate your dart. And yeah, if you're using the same piece, indicate your wrong side and also indicate which is the lining and which is the main piece. I have two pieces for my front piece. I also have two pieces for my lining. And it should be like that. You should have two pieces of each. So the front piece lining, I'm reducing the length by half an inch because of the certain way I want my jacket to look. And you guys, that is it for this part. Now joining, what I'll do is I'll go join the collar first. So yeah, I'll be sewing half an inch on this point. That's the collar. I'll be joining the collar first on the lining and also on the main piece. And once I have that sorted out, this is how it looks. I have the collar joined. And this is how it looks. I'm just taking off excess thread. And yeah, so what I'll do is I'll join the main piece of my front piece and the main piece of the back piece together. 
so i'll also indicate the middle point on the back piece before i do this because i'll be attaching the collar to the middle point of the back piece so now i have my middle point on the back piece notched i know the points I'll, what i'll do is i'll place the front piece on it like this i'll make sure that joining i have on the collar that's on the front piece i'll make sure i place that at the middle point of the back piece that's the point i have notched i'll make sure that sewing sits there i'll just go ahead and connect the collar to the back neckline and also i'll sew the shoulders in by half an inch so what i'm doing now is joining the collar and also joining the shoulders together and while i'm at it i also sew in the sides of the jacket but let's get to that point first Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every And yes, like I said, I also joined the sides by half an inch. So we're practically joining the front piece and the back piece together. So we are sewing all the sides, we are sewing the collar, we will so just go ahead and sew along this line. Now we are going to be doing the same thing for the linings. Um, I have the collar joined already, that's the two front piece collar. And now I'm just going to indicate the middle point on the back piece, that's the back piece of the lining. So now I'll make sure that middle point also sits on the, the line I have on the front piece, that's the joining, where I have the joining of the collar. I'll make sure the back piece notch the middle point sits on the joining of the collar and also sew in the shoulders and i'll sew in the sides just as we did on the main piece of this jacket so what we're practically doing is repeat the same step we did earlier on on the main piece we're going to sew the linings together the front lining and the back lining we join them together just as we did for the main piece so make sure you also sew in your darts on the linings and on the main piece and then so once i did all those process the steps i mentioned this is what i have i have my darts sewn in i also have the sides the shoulder the collar all sewn in and this is how it looks so this is the main piece of the jacket and what I'm doing right now is I'm making a notch on the collar so it sits properly. So just make sure you notch this so that it sits flat. It doesn't look funny. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just notching, giving all sides a notch. And once I am done notching, I also notch the lining also so that the collar part sits flat. And then I'll just go ahead and join my lining to the main piece. And you guys will be seeing how I'll be doing this. So you can see the middle points i'll make sure the middle points on the collar sits with the middle points on the main piece so i'm just placing the two middle points together and i'll use my pins to hold this down and make sure you place this right side facing right side so the right side of the main piece and the right side of the linings faces each other and then we'll just go sew we'll sew at the base of the jacket by half an inch we sew on the sides, we sew on the collar, we're just sewing around this whole point. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. So once I was done sewing, the same thing I did after joining the collars to the back piece, I'm doing the same thing now. I'm notching all points. And once i'm done notching i'm just going to flip this to the right side and you guys are going to see the result so i told you guys i wanted the jacket to look some kind of way at the length and this is what i mean um i just want the lining to be upwards by half an inch like i want the main piece to be longer than the lining by half an inch or one inch and that is the result you just saw so i'm just going in with my hot iron and i'm making sure all points lays flat
so you guys um this is what i meant you can see that the main piece is longer than the lining by half an inch or half quarter an inch but yeah this is what i wanted it to look like and you guys i really love the result of this it looks beautiful and you can see that um there are no seams showing no side seams everything is just locked in now this is the sleeves i have a video that shows you how to draft out pattern for your sleeves the pattern for the sleeves is available in the description box so if you want to create one for yourself of course you want to go click on the link so you guys i'll just go ahead and attach my sleeve to the jacket to finish up this video so i'll just turn this over to the wrong side like this that's from the lining side and i'll go join the sleeves together So while I'm at it, while I'm joining the sleeve to the jacket, I also hem the base of the sleeves. And you guys, that is that is how I was able to make the shawl collar jacket. And these steps are really easy. I hope you try them out. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see how I made the skirt that I'm using to wear my jacket, the link will be on the description box below. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I hope this video was helpful. I hope the steps were easy, and I hope you try and recreate one for yourself. Let me know in the comment section if you're going to be doing that and if you have any questions suggestion or anything at all please let me know in the comment section or you can send me an email i'll be replying to all your emails or and all your comments thank you guys once more i love you so much bye